species. This mod adds five new creatures to the game, each with unique behaviors. Raptor is a large, neutral avian found in warped forests. They are neutral mobs, but they hate wither skeletons and will attack them. These creatures can be spotted donning glamorous turquoise coats and will burst into a flurry of rage if their plumage happens to be shorn off completely. Raptors can be bred, their eggs are placeable and must be hatched using brute force by repeatedly dropping an anvil on them. Attempting to pick up a cracked raptor egg with a hoe will drop a new food item, cracked raptor eggs. Eating this can grant players a new effect, wither resistance, a reference to how raptors themselves are also immune to wither damage. Birds send remote signals to each other by using an elongated antenna that rests on top of their head and can be found sparsely in hollowed-out birch trees. If birds reside in a dwelling, they will return to it every night in order to lay eggs inside it. The bird dwelling can be occupied by three birds at any moment, similar to a beehive. Bird eggs can be used as projectiles, either to concuss enemies from afar, as the hardened metallic exterior of these eggs provides a short stunning effect that immobilizes the target upon contact, or to hatch more birds if they hit a block. Avid spelunkers may catch a glimpse of these bipedal, subterranean mollusks, called limpets. They have tough shells that sparkle with minerals, based on their spawn altitude and biome. These shells are very resistive, and easily deflect player-inflicted damage lower than 12 points. Fortunately, pickaxes are sharp enough to crack through these shells and can be used to harvest the minerals from limpets. Hitting a limpet with a pickaxe will cause its shell to begin to crack, but it will also initiate the limpet to panic and scurry off, requiring you to actively chase it. Pickaxes will be put into cooldown mode between each hit, and the shell requires multiple shots before breaking. When broken, the deposit will drop its respective mineral. Roombug making themselves at home in the warm expanses of savannas and badlands biomes. Roombugs are delightful, drowsy arthropods that can be tamed with honeycombs and healed using bottles of honey. Sleeping Roombugs can be mounted by entities and can move around with mounted entities on their back. The last one is Deep Fish. These translucent, bioluminescent organisms have evolved in complete darkness, as their natural habitat is deep slate level aquifers. They are rare mobs, and players looking to keep them in aquariums can collect them in a bucket. Talk Bubbles. Talk Bubbles adds bubbles above your head when you chat with your friend nearby. This mod is highly configurable, if you install the mod menu, you can easily change the bubble's color, size, and more. Mycelium Mire Mycelium Mire is a mod about overhauling the mushroom fields and adding many challenging bosses and tools. The mycelium biome is filled with many different mushrooms, and you can find many structures here. In the day, mushroom traders roam around, while monsters hunt you down at night. There are two types of mushroom traders, you can find normal mushroom trader and the fat one. And there are a few types of mobs. Puffshrooms are the most basic enemy type, as they will chase the player and will sometimes spit poison when hit. Cordyceps are mini-bosses with quite low health, but immense strength. They charge toward far away players and have three types of attacks. The first is a standard melee attack, the second being a swipe that sends a trail of fungal roots after the player for a short while. The final attack it knows is a charge attack, where the mob charges at the player, doing large damage. Brute bonnets have a large amount of health and cannot move. They have three attacks, the first being a ball of fungus that the mob spits at the player. The second attack it has is firing purple balls of fungus at the player to block the player. The final attack is a slam attack, where the mob smashes its foot into the ground and causes a small explosion. The Giga Hand is the real boss in this biome. This is a massive hand that sticks itself out of the ground and can be summoned with a lure. It has three attacks, including huge laser, large slash attack, and summons pods of puffshrooms that explode after a while. It's too powerful, I tried to challenge it for an hour and still couldn't beat it. Finally, all the new structures are really good, and you can find a lot of nice loots inside. Bananarangs Bananarangs allow players to craft bananas from apples and yellow dye, which can then be used to craft boomerang. All the recipes are given to the player when they obtain iron. The banana ring can be thrown at enemies and come back to you when you throw them. It doesn't consume durability, so you can use it all the time. If you don't catch the banana ring when it returns, it will fly around the player. Additionally, banana ring upgrades can be crafted and applied at a banana ring anvil. Two upgrades can be applied at a time and some upgrades are incompatible with others. Twelve different upgrades are featured in this mod.
Damage upgrade power has three tiers, which increases damage by 1.5 hearts per level, and power upgrade increases throwing power by 40% per level. Flaming upgrade can lights enemies on fire. Sticky upgrade makes hit items and mobs stick to the banana ring and return to the player. This is my favorite upgrade, it can also bring back experience orbs. Piercing upgrade lets banana rank pierces through enemies and damage ignores armor. Fling upgrade does extreme knockback, knocks creatures into the air. It sometimes bring back hit targets though, so use with care. Pickaxe upgrade allows attaching a pickaxe with the anvil, which enables block breaking. Levels of efficiency on the pickaxe increase the amount of blocks broken. Explosive upgrade makes banana rang explode on impact. So if you combine it with sticky upgrade, it may greatly improve your resource collection efficiency. Finn's Extra Shields This mod removes the vanilla shield crafting recipe and adds new vanilla-like shields. The new shields have various tiers and different textures. They also vary in durability, with wooden shield having a durability of 53 and netherite shield having a durability of 407. Fapto's Nether Mobs This mod aims to add several different mobs into the Minecraft Nether. The mobs added by this mod all have some sort of gimmick to them, so they feel more unique. Ghostly Zombie can be found in Soul Sand Valley. They float around and are transparent, and when they hit you, you receive nausea. Ghostly Creeper can be found in Nether Wastes. They harass you instead of hurting you. When they die, they blow up, but if you're wearing anything made of gold or if you use a golden sword to kill it, it won't blow up. Blackstone Creation can be found in Basalt Deltas. When they hurt you, they blind you. Skeletal Chicken, Skeletal Cow, and Skeletal Pig can be found in all nether biomes. Skeletal Spiders also spawn in all nether biomes, they behave exactly like a vanilla spider, but also give you the wither effect. Warped Monstrosity can be found in Warped Forest. When they find you, they'll hold you and will start attacking you while they hold you. After escaping from their grasp, they will attack you melee. And when you feed them a scorching berry, they will become passive towards you until you attack them again. Crimen spawn in Crimson Forest. They are passive mobs, and you contain them with scorching berries. Pixern can be found in Soul Sand Valley. When you right-click them while wearing any kind of boot, they will enchant your boots with Lava Walker, which is a new enchantment that lets you walk on lava. If killed, they have a chance of dropping Soul Lantern. Tanglarp can be found in Warped Forest. They attack skeletal spiders when they see them. And they are naturally passive towards players, but when you hit them, they will attack you back. Fungon can be found in Crimson Forest. When you attack them, there's a random chance for them to give you some negative effects. Basalt Slug can be found in Basalt Deltas. At first, you have to break its shell, which makes you obtain polished basalt, but after that, you can kill the slug itself, and it'll drop magma cream. Finally, some mods may drop special materials, which can be used to craft new tools and transparent blocks. All the links are in the description, any questions please leave a comment, have fun!